Hey there, I'm James. Welcome to another video about how to twine. In this episode, we are covering numeric variables. Numeric variables work in a similar way to Boolean variables, the true-false true, false ones. Um, but instead of being true or false, they're a number, right? And uh, let me show you what I mean. Let's start by setting a variable called money to one. Now we're going to print out how much money we have. You have, now watch this, money, money. When you use the name of a variable in text, the computer will say, all right, what does this mean? And it will look in its memory and see whatever value is stored there and will print it out. Now, it won't work for true and false, but it'll work for if you set it to a word or if you set it to a number, then it will print out here. So we've set money to one. So when we run this, it should say you have one money. Let's give that a try. Ah, there it is. We have one money. Great. Now let's get some more money. Uh, let's give the players of choice. Uh, that says get more money and we'll call this gain uh, we'll give them another choice don't get more money or no, let's say lose money let's give them a choice to lose money terrible choice and this is lose doop, doop. all right that's going to create my two passages. In this passage where we gain money, um, we want to run some code. We're going to want it to say, you now have money, money. But we want that to run after some code that we're going to do. The code is going to be set money to it plus one. I use the word it here, and it's a, pro, it's a pronoun. And when I use this word, the computer is going to say, all right, what is it? And it's going to look backwards to find the nearest variable. And that is what it is going to be. So it's going to say set money to money plus one. In this case, it's going to substitute one for money, because right now money is one. It's going to say set one to one plus one. Money will now be two. You have money, money. In the other choice, we are going to say set money to it minus one. We'll see if this works. This doesn't always work. Uh, and it should say you ha now have money, 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 money. All right, let's see if it works. So you have one money. Let's get some more. Now we have two money. Start over, we've got one money. Let's lose some money. Hey, this is working. Now we have zero money. Uh, that's pretty much it for numeric variables, although they open up quite a lot of possibility, right? Because you can use numbers, you can do all kinds of weird math stuff um, with your story. But for now, just as long as you understand how to set a variable, here, let's, let's do this again. How to set and change, well, we should do testing. All right, so I'll do one more thing here. You can set money and then you can change the value of a variable by adding to it or subtracting from it, right? Set money to it plus one. Let's do one more thing. We're going to create a passage called finish that cares how much money you have. Uh, oh, no. So here we've got finish. And here we're going to use another if statement to test for how much money you have. And we're going to use greater than or less than symbols to, to help us out here. Um, so let's do this. We're not going to show, well, let's say, let's do some text like here. How well did you do 
with your money. Now we want an if statement. If money greater than zero or greater than one, right? Run this text. Else, run this text. Okay, so we started out with one money. If we got more money, it's going to do this text. Uh, if we have the same amount of money, which is impossible in this small game, or less money, then it's going to run this text. So for this one, we're going to say, oh, wow, you did a good job getting more uh, money. We could say that, that oh, so in this one, we're going to say, uh oh, oh dear. Let's say, oh dear, you didn't do so good. Assuming that you wanted to keep your money. Whoops. So, uh, let's give this a shot. Let's see if this works. We're now going to play it. It's going to say, I have one money. We're going to go get some more. Now we have two. That's great. How well did you do with your money? Oh, wow, you did a good job getting more money. We have one money, we lose money, now we have zero. Oh no, oh dear, you didn't do so good. So we can set a variable to a number with the set command. We can then change the value of a variable by uh, setting it to it plus or minus one. And then we can test. We can test for that variable by saying if it's greater than one, do this. Otherwise, do that. And we could do this in smaller increments if we wanted to. But this is a pretty simple test, right? If it's a if it's more than one or if it's more than zero, we could say uh, then say a good thing. Otherwise, not. Money is not the only thing you can test for. Obviously, right? You could we could have called this anything we wanted and we could make it anything we want in the story. So you might want to test, um, you were doing a horror game and you want to test players level of fear. If they make a lot of choices that expresses their fear, then their fear level goes up. Or they do dangerous things and their fear level goes up. So scarier things happen to them. Or um, the, it's some kind of adventure and they're doing brave and dangerous things and you want their bravery meter to go up, right? Or maybe you have a game where players have to make tough choices that's about, you know, uh, doing a good thing or a bad thing or things that seem good or bad and their morality kind of fluctuates. And so you're going to test to see if they did, if they made moral choices or not. Um, you can, and then if you have more than one choice, right, if you have many choices over the course of the game that are all testing for, in this case, how much money did you make? and you're changing the level of money up and down, uh, then later on in the game, when you test for it, it can be the, you know, the result can be the result of a bunch of different choices that they made that you tracked over the course of the game. So numeric variables can be quite powerful. Um, so you don't have to do any of that fancy stuff with it. You don't have to integrate a story with it right now. But I think it is here, wrong passage. It is a good idea to figure out how the, this part of the code works. You should know how to set a variable to a number, how to change the value of that number inside the variable. Um, oh yeah, and then how to how to print out the value, right? Uh, and finally, how to test for how high or how low it is. Okay. All right, that is it for this video. And uh, I think next time we'll be talking about how to put pictures and uh, color into into your file. All right. Thanks a lot.